My summer holidays as a teenager were pretty much spent on the production line, screwing caps on, earning my pocket money. <laughs> Success for me would be being able to earn my own way because at the moment I'm being supported by a very loving family and it would be great to stand on my own two feet because I am an independent woman. Hi Dragons, I'm Amy. And I'm here today asking for £60,000 for a 15% equity stake in my company, Ella Banks, which is represented by my brand, Good Bubble. Good Bubble is the UK's first range of super fruit toiletries for children. There are currently eight products in the range, Super Bubbly Bubble Bath, Clean as a Bean Shampoo, Smoothie Softy Conditioner, and Bish Bash Bosh Hair and Body Wash in Dragon Fruit and Cloudberry. I started the range after researching the natural products and personal care markets and finding there to be an increasing concern around the safety of ingredients in personal care products, especially in children's toiletries. Made with real fruit extracts and at least 98% natural ingredients, our reward-winning products are free from sulfates, phthalates and artificial colour. I launched Good Bubble 12 months ago and has since been listed with the UK's leading online retailer and I've also had a high level of interest from overseas. I would like to use your investment to support this international expansion, new product development and marketing and PR. Thank you for listening. Would you like to see the products? I'd like yes, to, please. Yeah. A bubbly pitch from Amy Wordsworth, who is seeking £60,000 in return for a 15% share of her business. Mum of four, Sarah Willingham, wants to clear up some potential issues. Big need for this in my house. Good. Um, we use a lot. I've got four atopic kids, so they've got all got eczema. So I'm really careful what I buy. Have you tried this with kids with eczema? It has been tried on children with eczema, but it's a tricky one because um, it's not been clinically tested. It's been dermatologically tested, so it is kind to the skin. It's um, a very mild surfactant base. It's derived from coconut, um, which is used to produce the bubbles instead of the sulfates that are traditionally used, which can be quite drying on the skin. What does it retail for? It's £3.99 for the 400ml bubble bath and £3.69 for the 250ml shampoo, conditioner and hair and body wash. See, I think that's really pricey. Do you? Yeah, I, know, I do, actually. Yeah. I think all the feedback I, that we've had from parents is that it's great value for money for, for being a natural product and free from as well. All our competitors that offer all of these benefits are at least one to two pound more expensive. OK. Amy is standing firm, despite criticism from a price-conscious dragon. But when it comes to her brand, Deborah Meaden is concerned she could be selling herself short. Um, the branding of it, how do I know quickly and easily how, why it's good for me? Um, well, I think Good Bubble kind of says that um, we are a good bath time brand. Um, on the front, you'll see it says 98% natural ingredients. It does, but also. it's very... Um, you've got to commit to read it. Right. Good branding, kind of... You don't have to commit too long. It kind of shouts you in your, in, yeah. in your face. Branding-wise, from a distance, looks very credible. But I, I tend to agree that y you've got some, some real good ingredients in it which you're not shouting about from the front. What's your strength? What, what was um, your... So my your... background is advertising and marketing. Oh. Um, so uh, I worked at, for an agency for a couple of years on a few brands. Amy's branding has failed to convince. And Sarah Willingham wants to find out more about her deal with one of the UK's leading online retailers. When did Ocado list you? Um, the, the start of this year, January. And since then, you've sold how many through Ocado? Um, about, it's about three and a half thousand pounds worth. 
Is that in line with everybody's expectations? That superseded my expectations. It did? Yeah. My biggest concern out of everything you've said is that you've been in the cardo since the beginning of the year and really hardly sold anything. Right. And I just think you're going to need to put a lot of money behind it to compete with the big boys because we're talking some of the biggest of all of the boys are in this market. I think 60 grand is hardly going to scratch the surface, to be perfectly honest with you. I wish you all the very best, I really do. Um, but I'm afraid it's not something I'm going to invest in, so I'm out. In a market dominated by the multinationals, even a £60,000 cash injection could sink without trace. And Nick Jenkins has concerns about how Amy intends to use any potential Dragon investment. Amy. Yes. You said you wanted the money for international expansion. Yes. But you haven't really done anything in the UK yet. No. One of the things for us is that the UK market in children's toiletries it is growing, but um, the interest that we have had from China, they have 16 million babies a year, um, and there has been very strong interest from the, the Far East markets. Uh, there is a real danger of getting distracted. Right. Massively distracted, and focus is really, really critical. Don't think about international expansion before you've even got off the starting blocks. No, I didn't just say international expansion. Um, I mean, um, if one of the dragons no, were to invest but, but, but even if it was, if it was, oh, it's international expansion plus this, that and the other, then it's maybe 15 grand for international expansion, 15 grand for world domination. You know, you're not asking for a lot of money here, and that will go very, very quickly. You, you have to pick something and do it well first. I just get the impression that you've had a chance meeting with somebody, got rather excited about the Chinese market, which is the most random market right. to think about. I'm afraid for that reason, I'm out. China crisis for Amy, as Nick Jenkins dismisses her plans for overseas expansion. Tuka Suleiman has made up his mind. You are at a very infant stage in your business. It's too small for me to invest in. And for that reason, I'm out. Disappointment for Amy as a third dragon turns down the deal. The young entrepreneur is on the ropes and Deborah Meaden isn't known for pulling her punches. You have basically got no business at the moment. I'm not being funny, Amy, but honestly, you have no business. Um, sorry, I've just gone quite lightheaded. Oh, are you okay? Do you want to sit down? Sit down. Can we sit down? Don't fall over, Deborah. Don't fall over. Oh my God! Don't fall over. Do you want to sit down? Here we go. The pressure cooker environment of the den has taken its toll. You okay? Yeah. It's fine. Sorry. It's fine. Okay. What did I do to you? Despite the setback, Amy is determined to carry on. Let's do this. Um, I actually don't like that branding at all. I don't think it's, it shouts, it, it's all too small. Well, that's something we could change. Well, that's my question to you, because there's just things that I could really see really quickly and easily. We could, we could really make that stand out. I'm going to disagree with all of my fellow dragons. I am going to make you an offer.
I'm going to offer you all of the money, but I want 40% of the business. It would be down to you feeling comfortable that we're pretty much going to pull this apart. Right. In terms of the way it looks and the way it presents, mm -hmm. to come up with something that could be extended across a range. Okay. Thank you. An astonishing turnaround for Amy as Deborah Meaden offers the £60,000 she was seeking. Her price? A complete rebrand and nearly half the company. Is Peter Jones, quiet until now, readying himself to step in with a competing bid? Amy, it, there's a lot of work to be done here. And I think that you've got a great offer from Deborah. You know, whilst I'm very happy to go against Deborah on, on many, many different investments, if I'm passionate enough that I could do a better job, um, Actually, no, I'd go against her even if I didn't believe I could do a better job. I'd just blag it. But um, <laughs> the reality is that it's just very small. I think there's a lot of work that needs to be done, and that's the reason why I'm going to say I'm out. So Amy faces a simple choice. Accept Deborah Meaden's offer, £60,000 for 40%, or leave the den with nothing. Deborah, I'd like to take your offer. Thank you very much. Excellent. Well done. Brilliant. <laughs> Thank Thank you. Good decision. Oh, you were great. I thought you were going to pass Sorry, out halfway through. I thought I was going to pass out. <laughs> well done. Really good. Okay. Thank Thanks, you. Amy. When I went lightheaded, um, I thought that I'd blow my chance then. I got back up because I just wanted to see it through to the end. Um, I knew that I wasn't done there and I didn't want to walk away without an investment. 